Sock Passe. Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Sin, also known as Sin TV, and welcome back to another episode. So, guys, I'm actually refilming this intro because when I went back to edit the videos, I didn't like the previous intro. I was looking real rough. And I'm like, if I'm going to come to you with a banging vlog, I need to look as cute as possible. So, yes, I have my head wrapped right now because, you know, you gotta lay, the, gotta lay her down for a little bit. But today, I am bringing you guys a new intro. Okay, so on this vlog, it's supposed to be a little self-care day, just having fun, and my first, I guess, I'm not doing a Vlogmas this year because I can't commit to Vlogmas, but um, <laughs> I want to bring you guys like a really nice vlog and a day in my life, or a day in my week, I should say, because I started this vlog like a couple days ago. But yeah, so stay tuned for later today. I am going to brunch with my cousin. She is here and we're all glammed up. So I wanted to kind of show you guys like a little, our fit for today, just for brunch. I'm gonna take you guys on brunch. We're gonna go downtown Orlando. There's this new spot that just opened and I want to bring you guys with me. And also later today, we're gonna go see Oh my god, guys, I'm so excited to bring you guys. I'm gonna film the whole thing, try to get as much content as possible. And um, today's gonna be a content day as well. We're gonna be taking photos, doing TikToks. So it's gonna be a busy day, guys. All right. So, um, yeah, so what time is it right now? It's like 10 Wait. 49. Okay, 10 49. Okay, so brunch actually opens up at 11. So we gotta hurry up and get there. But let me bring my cousin in. I just want y'all to see how pretty she is. A pretty girl. <laughs> So yeah, she's in the family. And the family. You already know. So follow her at. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I will have her at like here somewhere. So you guys go give her some love. That is my best cousin, my favorite cousin. Okay, we are birthday twins. She is everything to me. So make sure y'all follow her and give her some love on her Instagram because you only have an Instagram, right? Um, I have other social media. But other Instagram, I'm more. Just active. more. Uh, okay, so yeah. she's active on Instagram. So I'm go follow my girl. All right. So yeah, so I'm gonna see you guys on brunch. Show you guys a little brunch fit, and yeah, then take you guys later today to the concert. Um, this place is actually located downtown Orlando, so you already know the vibes, real nice out here. So um, I think the rest of the video, I am just going to show you guys the food, because I actually forgot my damn tripod like an idiot, so I'm going to have to be holding. Oh, <gasps> what the hell was that? Did you, did you see that? Yeah. No, you're too busy filming. Oh my God, I swear, <laughs> it looked like a monkey just fell off the tree. <laughs> <It's> a monkey? <laughs> I don't know if they got a monkey child. No, no, something fell off that tree. Okay, let me stop. Yeah. Anyways, girl. Yes, so, yeah, so we're already loving the vibes in here. It's so freaking pretty. It's it definitely is. giving, like, clean girl vibes, and I love it. So, yeah, There's so many swans. aesthetics here. And I love being downtown, too. But I'm definitely, I feel like I'm starting to get, like, a little bit more city girl-like, you know. So we got our food and everything. I got shrimp tempura. I got a cali roll. Look at her cali roll. Isn't that, like, so nice? It looks so pretty. Mm -hmm. And then we got, like, a little trio dip here. Food is actually really good. I already know shrimp tempura is going to be good. This dip, this little orange dip they got, I don't know what that is, but that is busting. I'm thinking it's Chipotle. You think it's a Chipotle yeah, dip? Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, it's really good. Mm -hmm. Um, But yeah, they only have brunch on Saturdays and Sundays. We so. didn't know that, so of course we had to like, I guess, what? Um, casual lunch? I guess a casual yeah, lunch. Yeah, casual lunch. Casual we'll make the best of we'll it make the, Yeah, because we didn't want to go anywhere else because I'm like, mm. we're already hungry. We're here. It's nice. So. Nice ambiance. It's a nice ambiance. But yeah, food is looking nice and cute. So, so yeah. I guess we're going to catch you guys later when we take our photos. Yeah. Alright guys, so we made it to the concert. We did. We, we so, didn't matter. We're like super 
early. We we're thought on we were time. like late, but we were mad people. early. We're on, <laughs> we're on time for black people, right? <laughs> but I mean, we did feel like fast yeah. like, We really yeah. want to get mm -hmm. But we are in the first row. Yeah, we we're are. so excited as you can see. I'm gonna push my way to the front. Listen, and then there's the stage right there. Yeah. So it's gonna be a minute. Listen, it comes out. Wait, hold on, put it back. Put, put it, back. it back over there. Okay. I'm gonna be right there. <laughs> You're gonna be right there. Uh -huh. okay, I'm gonna push. Right there. <laughs> Yesterday was just so eventful, so fun. I had so much fun with my cousin. Again, please follow her and all of her social media. Um, the concert, like I wanted to talk to you guys about the Burna Boy concert, um, but, and I'm actually gonna end this vlog today. Um, but I'm gonna end it by just making some coffee because now I just feel like drinking some coffee, like, I don't know. So, so yeah, I'm about to make some coffee and tell y'all about this freaking concert. Um, I don't know what I wanna, let me see, I know there's like two different ones. Italian roast, I think I wanna try the Italian roast. Make just a cold brew. So we had first row tickets, guys. Yes, first row tickets. Um, so we were like super, 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 super excited. And um, concert was supposed to start at seven, no, eight o'clock, because we asked them what time is Burning Boy supposed to come out. Um, they said eight o'clock, and we had got there at I want to say seven. Um, and when we got there, it was like surprisingly there was like a line, and I'm like, and the line was like not moving. I'm like, oh my god, is this like the line to get in? Which it was the line to get in, but I'm thinking like, I'm surprised like it's still like wrapped around the whole arena. Um, so by the time we finally get, they started letting us in at 7.30, which I thought was odd because normally if you've been to a concert before, they let you in like a little bit earlier. Um, so when we got in, um, basically we found out that like, okay, they're just running behind. Like when we went to go get some like, oops, sorry if that was loud. When we went to go get some drinks, they were like, yeah, we we're supposed to let you guys in at six, but, um, his team is behind and I'm like, oh my God. Like, cause I know they've been saying from past concerts that Burna Boy has been, um, having, he's always been late. And for some reason I thought he's not going to be late. He's not going to be late. He's not going to be late. Y'all, he was late. Matter of fact, he was two hours late. We had a local DJ that was trying to like get the crowd, like, you know bumping and jumping which he did for a little bit but there's only so much waiting you can do um and then he, finally his official like Burna Boy's official 
um, crew came out. And surprisingly, we had a headliner where Timmy was there. Guys, I have the girl. Girl, like I'm not even like a big fan of Rotimi. Like I like his songs, I like his, I like his music, uh, I like his music, and I know that he was in power and everything. But like, girl, like, ugh. honestly, y'all, all I can say is buy first row tickets. I don't care how expensive they are. But Rotimi is a real performer. Like I am so thankful and grateful that like he came out and like worked the first row. And like, girl, I was so close. Like we were literally like this, like face to face. Like it was amazing um and then burner boy like he finally came out um at 10 10 15 i want to say yeah because i texted my boyfriend i was like he's finally coming out um so yeah it was 10 15 and we've been there since like seven so and he was supposed to come out at eight or a little after eight so it was a little disappointing but when he did come out me being a fangirl that i am i instantly forgave him <laughs> um i love the whole entire setup i like just the everything he's uh, it was just such great vibes like there like the afro beats and afro fusion whatever you want to call it all the um for the pre, I guess the pre-game, pre-gaming or whatever, before he came out, like the DJs, they were hyping us up with Caribbean music. It was just all Afro, African, Caribbean, which whatever you want to call it, music. It was just, it was definitely a vibe. Um, yeah, so we had a blast. It was my cousin's first concert. We looked great. We were having so much fun. Um, I just wish that like, you know, cause towards the end, like he was deaf, Burner Boy was definitely, rushing to finish it um to like you know get through all the songs and everything so it was definitely rushed i could tell um but being in the first row like i didn't realize how like people that aren't in the first row they want to be in the first row so bad and they just rush to the front and it was just like we were trying to like i was definitely like defending my space i'm like no one is gonna be in front of me like i'm sorry like we just had so many people behind us there was other people that were like filming it was just so much action and scenes going on it was just it was a lot but it was such a fun experience and everything so definitely want to go to another one another concert here and there i definitely want to make concerts like a thing for me and my cousin but yeah um other than that like we had a blast you know oh it was so nice seeing him in person um but yeah we had such a great time um yeah so i think i'm gonna end the vlog like this and i will catch you guys next week uh thank you for watching guys make sure to follow me and all my socials and everything i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog um so yeah i need some time to decompress and just get myself together because this past week has been so freaking crazy um but yeah i'll catch you guys in the next one I don't need love.